So the, the last part, we will fly to Marignan. Probably all of you, you don't know where, where is Marignan. Marignan is in France, in south of France, very nice city. And this is a city of helicopter. So I will invite on stage Mrs. Laurence Béja, the head of uh, light helicopter, head of production of light helicopter. And I will invite Emmanuel Vijas, the head of the program of transformation, of the digital transformation for manufacturing. So please welcome on stage. Jean-Marie. Thank you. Good afternoon to all of you. First, a uh, warm thank you to Dassault to welcome us and to, for the invitation. Uh, we are very pleased to share our experience with you uh, today. Before uh, focusing on the topic itself, on the digital shop floor project, um, let's have a look on a short Airbus helicopter video to present our product range. I will make some comments during the video. Airbus Helicopters is a division of Airbus Group. The company provides the most efficient civil and military helicopter solutions to its customers who serve, protect, save lives, and safely carry passengers in highly demanding environments. Flying more than 3 million flight hours per year, the company's in-service fleet includes some 12,000 helicopters operated by more than 3,000 customers in 152 countries. Airbus Helicopters employs more than 23,000 people worldwide and in 2014 generated revenues of 3.5 billion euros. Thank you. So on this video, you had a view of our products, a wide range, but from an industrial point of view, what's in it? A large range, it means um, a large complexity of aircraft. So it means that for a light helicopter, we can have 600 man hours and a lead time of three months, but it can go up to 20,000 uh, many hours and more than 12 months for a more complex one. So it means also that our supply chain is um, very large. We've got a lot of customers, a high customization of our aircraft. And within this supply chain, some uh, suppliers get only few orders per year. So it's more complex to manage all these uh, number of parts. Uh, we've got also small series 
with high customization, a long time to market, and long time to support as well, because we have to support our product for more than 30 years. Um, all this uh, make a complex uh, supply chain. So now you've seen on the video that we are the top of the technology for our customers. Uh, but the idea was also to give the top of the technology for our employees. And on the move uh, towards excellence, digitalization was really a key element uh, of our strategy. To present the digital shop floor project, so we will go through, um, uh, come back on the genesis of the program, a zoom on the light helicopter pilot case, then, of course, we will highlight uh, the realizations of the project and to finish with uh, a few words on the return of experience. I leave the floor to Emmanuel. Okay, so I will uh, give you some information about the launch of this project. So first, it was a kind of strategic decision from uh, Airbus helicopters to go to digitalization in the shop floor. And uh, because we noticed that at the beginning, the shop floor uh, management uh, was, um, uh, we had many tools, many IT tools, uh, a lot of things were uh, managed on paper, and it was really difficult to uh, use this data and make uh, analysis which could help us to improve uh, quality on production. We also noticed at this stage that the ERP system, SAP, was uh, already customized a lot, and uh, we fear that we, if we add more uh, information or customization in this system, it will have caused us uh, uh, probably some, some issues. So that's why we decided to launch this, uh, this project with, as a main goal, to standardize the process, optimize production costs, reduce lead time, increase quality level, and at the end, increase uh, tracking capabilities. So the project has been um, started has been divided in two phases. First, a pilot phase, where the main goal was to assess the business case and, um, and build the core system, which could be used in all the shop floors. So uh, to do this, we have selected three uh, shop floors which represent the diversity of the site and the activity. So uh, one, one assembly line, one final assembly line of helicopters, one component assembly line, and, and uh, some uh, elementary parts uh, manufacturing uh, site. And uh, at the end of this phase, we, we started a deployment, a full deployment uh, project, uh, starting with new production centers, where we have more link with the PLM system, but also with the sites with the best return on investment. So. Now we will do a little focus on the first pilot, which is live since uh, more than one year now, which is a, a final assembly line for light helicopters. So first, uh, a flashback on uh, light helicopter story. Uh, continuous improvement is really part of uh, our DNA, let's say. Um, in 2008, uh, we were working in dock line, so it means a static process uh, without link with between the aircraft and no sequencing, no sequencing, sorry. So we decided to launch a first step uh, of improvement, uh, means that we split uh, the process into workstations, uh, we implement some lean principles, uh, but without balancing and constraint uh, in the matting. And we didn't really, at this stage, synchronize all the supply chain. Uh, we only uh, set up a, a marketplace that was already a first point. In 2010, uh, we decided to go further and to launch the, the second step to really um, implement a tact flow line uh, with a real um, line balancing with a 10 workstation. The same lead time for each workstation, whatever the complexity and the, the, the configuration of the aircraft. The tact is today uh, is, is about three days. And we really um, optimize the logistic flow uh, of the supply chain. So obviously, in 2014, we were the best uh, candidate for the MES implementation uh, within Airbus helicopters. So 
the, the project itself started with a brown paper phase, which we used to, to map the current process and identify all documents needed to, uh, to, to work and to be uh, included in the MES system. And it also helped us to, to define the, the key functions to be used and which and freeze the project scope. And to support this process, we were um, working with a lot of um, paper, let's say, a lot of uh, different type of documents like work order sheet or product production technical data sheet. Uh, but everything was almost uh, with paper, except a lot, a lot, a lot of many, many Excel files for to follow missing parts and uh, the activity and to manage the interfaces. And for the follow-up of the activity, we are using a whiteboard. Uh, so that was quite old-fashioned, all this today. Uh, so the goal at this stage was really to keep the same process, but to improve and standardize it. Um, because implementing, implementing this brick of excellence, that's how we call it, this brick of excellence means being sustainable in the way uh, we manufacture our product. So the aim was to ease the life of the blue workers uh, in our workshops, to ease uh, the circulation of information, and to ease the management of the interfaces. To illustrate this, uh, we've made a, s uh, a short video with the system at the beginning of the, of the project, and it has been used as a communication kit, and we want to share it with you. Uh, now also, if you can just let look at the video, please. Thanks. Airbus Helicopters is the world's leading civil and military helicopter manufacturer. In the context of market global leadership, sustaining this position requires the ability to deliver innovation rapidly so as to stay ahead of the competition and industry technology standards. It is also about the ability to rely on manufacturing capabilities that strengthen production best practices and offer flexibility to react to market demand. From the machining of elementary parts up to the final assembly lines, the helicopter manufacturing process is spread across different, specialized workshops in which highly skilled personnel operate every day. Today, information is collected and transcribed on paper before being recaptured in the ERP system. Managing this supply chain complexity requires real-time information sharing, a key element of a fully mastered production process. Every day, unplanned events happen on the shop floor. Missing parts, compliance non-conformance, or machine breakdowns. Each of these events starts a chain reaction that disrupts activities of companion processes, which then impacts the supply chain, lead times and WIP levels, ultimately lowering overall efficiency. Moving a step further along the digital transformation journey, Airbus Helicopters and Dassault Systems are joining forces to implement Delmia Apriso Manufacturing Operations Management System. By removing paper from production workflows, digitizing information, and making it available on any desktop or mobile device, it will be possible to better streamline processes and get more control over supply chain operations. Improving visibility to a real-time view on production events makes it much easier to acknowledge shop floor events, to assess them, and then to make decisions to synchronize activities that best react to the situation. This new solution will provide everyone with a clear and simple view of their objectives of the next operation, at any time and in real time, by using their mobile device or by looking at hand-on screens. This new process enables the right person to find the right information quickly and then take action. This digital future factory will bring efficiency and effectiveness all along the supply chain. This strategy can allow Airbus to better master their supply chain and build to rate. In the end, it will result in the achievement of manufacturing excellence at the heart of each and every Airbus helicopter. Thank you. So, so within the project, we have uh, implemented three kinds of functions. Uh, first, function to be ready to execute. So it means 
to, to check that all conditions needed to produce are OK. Is the workplace safe? Are the tools, parts, and documents available at the station to start production? The next kind of function we have implemented is uh, to give all the information needed to workers to do the work. So it means uh, instructions, information, uh, standard times they should uh, uh, follow but also the capability to record uh, this some information during production. It means record the real time spent, record the quality checks, incidents which happens, serial numbers, and non-conformity. And at the end, all these data are used to have a real time visibility on the shop floor, execution, and progress, and also uh, can be used later uh, in some kind of big data projects to launch some improvement actions. So concretely, what has changed in uh, our workshop on the shop floor? Um, first, the solution enables us to go paperless. That was key, obviously. Uh, all the documents and work instruction, uh, technical data sheets and, uh, uh, are available uh, on time uh, for the companion, the blue color, uh, on their own tablet. So that was key. And having all these documents available uh, in a wink, uh, it helps to, to, to eliminate, let's say, uh, time waste. And um, we optimize also a setup time and we reduce waiting time. Uh, and of course, this uh, lead to to an increase of productivity. The other key thing is the visibility. Uh, and on board uh, provides us uh, with real time uh, visibility on the status of, of the flow line and the activity, and also on the incident that may occur on the shop floor. Uh, in fact, we implemented the incident concept, so we give the opportunity to the, to the companion, to the blue color, to declare an event that uh, may slow him down in his uh, activity, or any incident or event he wants to share and being, seen, seen being um, improved later on. So that's key. Two keywords, uh, collaborate and react in real time. Uh, two key objectives. The solution brings uh, more insight to the shop floor management uh, to make decisions during the Flash 5 uh, meeting or during SQCDP meeting. And it also uh, leads to better reactivity um, to the support functions. Of course, quality uh, inspectors take benefits of the solution and the, of the digitalization to support the non-conformity process. Uh, robustness of traceability and genealogy are, are, have been improved. And at the end, uh, of course, as a key point, key, key point sorry, um, beyond uh, this better uh, operational reactivity, uh, all the data collected by the MES solution help us to improve uh, our productivity by launching an uh, adequate uh, action plan. Uh, concretely, the analysis of critical or recurrent incident, uh, as well as non-conformity uh, issues, uh, highlights a new type of waste uh, that were not really uh, identified before. So, uh, return our experience on the project. Uh, concerning the project organization, it was clear that it's key that a project of this size has to be sponsored directly by uh, executive, uh, industry executive. We also had to include some uh, core, uh, some experts uh, of the process, which was also key to, to define the, r the right function uh, for the process. And of course, a strong involvement of the fut future user on uh, direct management of the user. And we were, we were happy to have on this project a strong partnership with Dassault uh, to, to succeed uh, in, in this project. Concerning the methodology itself, we just follow the classical methodology with uh, go live step by step and uh, on the strong focus on change management activities. 
Concerning the business case itself, so uh, we uh, decided to include the project directly in the improvement plan, plan of uh, each uh, centers um, to, uh, to clearly follow the, new, the cost and savings uh, included by this project. And we also notice that the costs are quite different depending of the maturity and the manufacturing engineering maturity level of each center. Uh, this uh, technology brings also a lot of uh, added value, but also additional costs, uh, uh, specifically on IT devices that we didn't add before in the shop floor. But globally, as a savings, it's brought a lot of improvements for uh, white collars and blue collars uh, by reduction of uh, time spent on production. It has also reduced uh, non-conformance on rework activities, reduction of lead time on work in progress uh, inventory. And at the end, it helps us to decommission some uh, old IT tools and to uh, remove some paper printing activities. So concerning the, the project itself, uh, the key success factor of this project was that we, we set up dedicated plateau really close to the shop floor on operational, and this, uh, real, this was really a successful uh, idea. We, uh, of course, uh, celebrate progress and success all along the project. <laughs> We also nominated key users, that's uh, really important, and we uh, aim, uh, get them on board uh, uh, by involving them uh, each time we could, uh, especially during a visit, uh, and they promote themselves the solution uh, to our visitors. Okay, it doesn't work, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, on last point, uh, to ensure a good comprehension of the project and to, to promote the work done all together, we made uh, an extensive communication on the project uh, during more than one year. So the, the last slide of our presentation is uh, this project won several prizes. We won some uh, internal uh, prize, uh, Award of Excellence of the Best Project. Uh, for digitalization, and we are still candidate for an award at uh, Airbus group, group level. We also won uh, a government, uh, from the French government, a prize concerning industry of the future uh, that uh, has been, that we received uh, last month, and uh, with several newspaper articles on it. And we were happy that this, this project has federated a lot of people from different backgrounds and vision inside industry, and it helps us to standardize our uh, production uh, methods. So the next step for us will be to, to continue on device and smart tool collections, to start and continue the numerical continuity on the big data mining topics, and of course to continue the deployment to all the shop floor which are not yet uh, implemented. So thank you for your attention and um, thank you. <laughs>